Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back with another StarCraft 2 1 vs 1 Bot AI Cast. We have got ourselves what should be a good one here today as we have got two great bots in the top left. It's going to be Micro Machine, the Micro Machine, and in the bottom right, it's SharkBot the best Protoss bot out there, or at least I'd say the Protoss bot with the most depth. Uh, Deimos is doing pretty good on the ladder, but it is more of a rushing bot that isn't quite as refined yet. Anyway, so we have got Shark Bot, a Protoss bot going for a forge first, so we could be seeing a little bit of a cannon rush here, and it's been a long, long time since I've seen a cannon rush done by bots. Looks like Micro Machine is going ahead and pulling the required number of SCVs on the pylon, but it is a total block by SharkBot. And uh, as we do have this cannon rush get underway, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to go ahead and click that like button if you haven't already. We do have four more SCVs come down to attack this pylon. Looks like one is actually body blocked, though, by its comrade, so that's not good for Micro Machine. And Micro Machine will need to get some more workers down here in order to deal with this and also get a bit more minerals so it can start producing a marine which it will definitely need to defend this. We have got the racks lifting up and then landing. I'm not sure what that was to start a tech lab. So Micro Machine's getting out a tech lab. I don't think that's what it really needs against this cannon rush. Three SCVs are attacking this cannon. It's going to be close. Usually you need four to kill them before they finish. These warriors are going to be close to getting it though. Can this guy get it? No, it's so low. One more hit. That is bad news for Micro Machine. It's now pulling more SCVs into the cannon. The tech lab is finished up, but it has yet to start anything out of it. Well, on the other side of the map, I didn't even notice. We have got Micro Machine building a Rax on Sharkbot's side of the map, and Sharkbot has just got one photon cannon building on its side of the map. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't already, click that like button, leave a comment down below if you want to see more bot games like this. Uh, say, more bots! This is a bit of a rough go for Micro Machine. Sharkbot's cannon rush is looking a little strong. Not a single unit started for the Terran. That is just disastrous. I'm not sure what the holdup was. It finally starts one Marauder, but it's going to need more than one Marauder to defend this. Sharkbot never, or Micro Machine never got its orbital going. There is the proxy on the other side of the map. Yeah, it looks like Micro Machine has elected to go for a bit of a proxy Marauder build, but Sharkbot just cut the legs out from underneath it. Looks like that one Marauder will get out. We'll see if it actually escapes or dies. Micro Machine is pretty good at avoiding things like cannons, so this Marauder may prevent any more cannons getting on up. Uh, you can attack that. There you go. Get it, Micro Machine. Stop that cannon rush. There is now a Reaper on the way on the other side of the map coming out of this Rax. Interestingly enough, a Reaper, not a Marauder. Micro Machine has got this one can has got this one Marauder, which could be its saving grace. We shall see. That Marauder attacks the Photon Cannon, a poor SCV. Uh, not really checking that there's a cannon in the way of wherever it went to. And the probes for Sharkbot, they're just well sharking around looking for something to get done to do. The Marauder is microing well, however, unfortunately that cannon did get up, which is not good for Micro Machine. An orbital is on the way, but the pro the Terran bot is on a very low economy. It's also not prioritizing its resources right, as it's got three in gas and only three mining minerals, which is not ideal. The cannon wall is slowly inching further forward, and if, if this one Marauder dies, it will just be like lights out for micro machine there's the reaper that's still out there it's scouting out it did kill one probe i suppose but it now there's just a single marine on the way and it looks like one of those marines is actually on the way home the marauder is holding the line trying to deal with this single photon cannon but it's a it's a really big climb that micro machine's gonna have gonna have to make if it wants to be able to win this game that marine heading home is kind of worst case scenario because it's going to run right into this pylon or into this cannon. And so Micro Machine, yeah, it's in a really rough spot. If it was able to get some good counter damage done, I'd say maybe it can make something happen. But Sharkbot with the cannon on its side of the map with a Zealot out and a Stalker now on the way. Things are looking really rough for Micro Machine. There's a factory on the way for the 
for the Terran bot, and it's kind of holding the line for now, as this one Marauder will shut down that other cannon, but there's two more that have actually successfully gotten up, and this, this is getting really close to the base of the Terran. I don't think that cannon will be in range. It's so darn close, though. We do have three Marines and a Reaper pooling outside of here, but they can't go by all these cannons. It would be just absolute suicide. The only hope is that Micro Machine gets out a siege tank and utilizes it very, very intelligently. Now, Sharkbot still is just on one base. It, of course, has delayed its economy a ton by doing this. It's also delayed... Uh, well, it's still delaying itself by building more and more of these cannons. Micro Machine is getting out a tech lab on that factor. It's getting out a starport. So we could see that come out. The refinery is about to burn down, though. And I really hope, for Micro Machine's sake, that no cannons get any further forward. The Marines are actually preventing the probe from getting up that ramp, which is a big deal. Sharkbot is utilizing Warpin, which is a cool thing. We don't often see bots utilize Warpin, but uh, as I put two and two together, I realize if that Zealot attacks on in, that is going to be bad for Micro Machine, uh, depending on how well that Marauder micros anyway. We don't have a siege tank on the way, so there's no gas for the Terran bot. It spent all of its gas, and with that refinery dying, I'm not sure Micro Machine has got the intelligence to replace that or not. The one Zealot's taken a beating, getting healed by that battery, kind of like the Carbot cartoon. And the Zealot may actually go down, but the problem is the cannons will realistically never be broken. The Reaper is doing a good job microing. The Marines have found a bit of a nice angle here. Start killing off some of these shield batteries, but the cannons are still good enough there. And oh man, yeah, the mining is being disrupted now with a Stalker that got warped in. This one Marauder is not up to the task. And so... Things are looking really rough for Micro Machine. If it had another gas going, that would be that would be nice. But unfortunately, Micro Machine built its gas towards the south instead of the north, and it, that just goes to show. Because if the gas was towards the north, maybe Micro Machine would have actually been able to get out a cyclone or a siege tank, something that would help break this, and maybe it would have been able to play this game out. Uh, but. So far, it's looking really rough. Micro Machine did have enough gas to squeeze out a single Marauder. Two Marines do get caught by two of the Stalkers of Sharkbot. Those Stalkers actually somehow made it home going past these Marines. I actually have no idea how that took place. Uh, I'm quite curious, but regardless, uh, things are looking still pretty rough for Micro Machine. The bot one of the best bots there is, but it does seem to be glitching out in the fact that it lost its refinery, not knowing to replace that. It's building up minerals. It probably wants to try and expand right now, but it cannot. And so Micro Machine is, is really just hard stuck, I'll say. Stalker is microing against this army, but with the batteries to heal it up, four batteries and all, it's doing pretty well. Micro Machine says, am I hallucinating? <laughs> My Sharkbot says, maybe you should turn down your overclock. Okay, so these bio units are skirmishing. However, Micro Machine can really only make one Marine at a time. And this cannon rush looks like it may have actually got Sharkbot a win against Micro Machine. At the start of the game, it said something like Micro Machine's win rate was 87%. Well, I guess this is the 13 out of 100 games that takes place, so... Well, uh, well done by, uh, by, uh, Sharkbot's author. Cannon rushes can work, of course. This strategy won't always work. It's probably map dependent. Of course, it depends on the strategy Micro Machine was going for. If Micro Machine wasn't proxying that Rax, maybe it would have helped. That SCV potentially bottlenecking against that pylon early on could have uh, been another reason but it does seem we have a victor here ladies and gentlemen if you enjoyed this game go ahead click that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already join the discord uh let's see consider becoming a youtube member and yeah just if you did watch all the way to the end of this video and you enjoyed it go ahead and click that subscribe button if you are not and i hope everyone didn't mind a bit of a shorter game today i do enjoy seeing the shorter matches I also had a little bit of a headache, so I didn't want to stare at a screen for too long, so I was like, ah, perfect, a nice cheesy cannon game. It just turned out to be uh, clicking on a shorter replay. So, we shall wait and see Sharkbot 
kill Micro Machine. The cannons may actually kill that command center as everything lifts off for Micro Machine. GG. Thanks for watching.